For number three, we're back at with an uh, F prime graph, and we're going to talk about F. So where is F increasing? That's going to be wherever F prime is positive. So we can see that F prime starts as negative and then is positive for the rest of the interval. And if we zoom in on this, I mean 2.4, 2.3, right? This is X equals 1, X equals 2. Let's say X equals 2.3 is where we start being positive. So it's going to go from 2.3 until 13 is when um, f of x is increasing. And at 13, right, f of x is positive. So it is it is increasing at x equals 13. At x equals 2.3, it's flat. So we don't include 2.3 in the interval, right? So that's why we have a closed bracket here. Um, f of x is going to be concave down when f double prime is negative which means that f prime is decreasing. So where is f prime decreasing? Well, it's in, it's flat, it's increasing, increasing, increasing. Okay, so it decreases from x equals 4 to x equals 6. All right, and then it increases again, and then it's flat, and then it decreases from 9 to 10. So 4 to 6 and 9 to 10 are our intervals where f prime is decreasing, which means f double prime is negative, which means f is concave down. f of x is decreasing at a constant rate. It's decreasing implies f prime is negative. Constant means f prime is not changing. So that happens right here, right? So we'll just say from x equals 0 to x equals 2, we are decreasing at a constant rate. I guess we should actually include these because at 0, it's decreasing. At 2, it's decreasing with a slope of negative 2. Um, f of x is concave up when f prime is increasing because f double prime would be positive. And it's, so f of x is concave up and increasing was, is when f prime, f prime is positive and increasing. So let's look at our graph. So f prime is positive and increasing from, let's just circle from here to here from here to here, and from here to here. Okay, so that is from, I'm gonna erase this so I have room to write my answer. That's from 2.3 until four. Okay, it's also from six to seven. And then finally from 10 to 13. Those are all the places where f prime is positive and increasing, meaning f of x is increasing and concave up. Finally, f double prime 3. So we're just going to go to x equals 3. 1, 2, 3. Here it is. Remember that f prime, f double prime is the slope of f prime. This is a straight line. So we just need to figure out what the slope of this straight line is. So if you start from here, run by 1, rise by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Run by 1, rise by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The slope is 6, so we can just say f double prime 3 equals 6.